Hey everybody, I'm MS Farzan, and welcome to this updated series on how to build a multiplayer card game with Phaser 3, Express, and Socket.io. If you're new to this series, you might be saying, what's with the updated series? What was wrong with the original one? Well, since I built the original one in 2020, I've received a bunch of feedback that I've implemented into this series to make it better with shorter videos, some um, additional features, and that kind of thing. So I hope that you enjoy it. So let's take a look at what we're going to build here. I have a live version of the game uh, running at uh, this link, which I can post in the, the description for this video uh, on Heroku. And so I, uh, it's just a very basic game board. Uh, which has a player area, an opponent area, and wells for the for the two decks, and then like a uh, a drop zone, and uh, this button or text that says deal cards. And nothing's functional just yet. Um, although we'll see on the uh, the um, uh, that there's some uh, indicators in the chat that it's working. I'll open up a another um, window to signify the second player. And then, as we say, as we see, on um, we'll call this player A because it's we'll say that uh, it's their turn first, and we'll see that the game state is initializing and they're both connected. But this person, it's not their turn. And the way this is going to work is that now that everybody's uh, uh, connected, we see that there are two uh, cards signifying the decks that have been um, dealt to us. It's uh, from one of my games called Entromancy Hacker Battles. And I'm going to hit deal cards on one of the clients, and the the um, cards are uh, going to be uh, dealt. I'm going to deal five cards to myself. And on the other screen, the client B's screen, we see that the backs of the cards have been dealt to signify that uh, okay, cards have been dealt. And when I hover over my own cards, I get this nice little preview um, of a larger version of them. And I can drag them, but I can't do anything with them because the game hasn't started yet. And then in the other uh, client, client B, when we deal cards, the same thing happens here. And I see them now on client A. And in the uh, console, I'll see the game state is ready, that both, both players have been dealt cards and we're ready to play. Now, it's not player B's turn, so uh, or client B's turn, so client B can't, can't do anything with their cards. But client A certainly can. Client A drags and drops, and then it um, uh, get the card gets tethered to the drop zone, and I can still hover over it, but I can't drag it anymore. We've disabled that once they've dropped their card. No takebacks. And then client A can't can't um, drag any cards anymore because it's not their turn anymore. But we see that they dropped a a, a, a blue card. And on client B's screen, it renders as a as a purple or magenta card. And we've also deleted one card from their from the opponent cards up here. And then client client B drags and drops a card, and um, uh, our uh, game knows to move it a little bit to the side so that it starts filling the drop zone. And we go back to and now it's no no longer their turn. We go back to client A and we see that uh, the card has been rendered correctly. And all of these cards have been dealt at random. We can keep going, and we just keep going, and that's how that's how our card is going to play. Pretty simple functionality, but there's a lot of work to get it here, especially because there's a, a big multiplayer component to this, and so we're, we'll have to work with the server and everything. And so, yeah, that's what we're going to build. In this first video, we're going to take a look at the integrated development environment or IDE setup that I have to make sure that you have everything you need to to move forward with this project. I'm using Visual Studio uh, Community 2019, uh, although you can use whatever code editor you'd like. I would just uh, make sure that you have Node.js installed, as we'll be using that for uh, the entirety of the series. And what we're going to do first is we're going to go to um, this uh, template, which I'll put in the description for this video. Um, this is put out by Photon Storm, the creator of uh, Phaser 3. And um, if you're not familiar with Phaser, well, it's a uh, JavaScript um, game framework that is uh, pretty straightforward and easy to use. I have a bunch of videos on it if you'd like to, to start um, way from the beginning. Um, and um, what this is going to allow us to do is install a, a boilerplate using Webpack that allows us to um, 
to edit our code and have that immediately refresh uh, on screen um, when we're building our game so that we don't have to handle all of that. And it also allows us um, to do things like build the game for deployment and it's just it's going to make our lives a bit uh, a lot easier. So uh, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to to um, create a uh, a new project. Uh, and uh, you can do this many different ways, but the way that I'm going to do it in Visual Studio is I'm going to go to my command line and uh, find my, uh, where's my coding directory, and uh, put this in my JavaScript directory. And I'm going to uh, create a new folder and we'll call this uh, phaser multiplayer card game and move into that folder okay and then I am going to copy or clone uh, this uh, link from from github and uh, if you don't already have git installed well you're gonna need that as well so but that might be integrated already with your um, integrated development environment but uh, certainly this is the gonna be the easiest way that we'll be able to to um, uh, install phaser 3 and I'm gonna say git clone and then paste that um, repository link and it is uh, it has um, cloned it into my phase three project uh, template folder, as you can see. Um, we'll probably rename that folder actually to um, just be uh, the client directory, but in any case. Uh, and then I'll navigate into that folder, phase three dash project template. And um, let's say uh, npm install so that uh, node the node package manager can install all the dependencies for this template and while that's happening maybe I'll open that folder in my uh, IDE and I've opened it into uh, here so now I see that this is my phaser 3 project template just while we're here I'm just going to rename this to client Oh, it's being used because it is in my um, CLI. Okay, so now I'm going to rename this just to client. And the reason why I'm doing this is because we're going to have a client that sits on top of a server that handles the socket IO communications for us. So um, that's just going to be uh, easier to use like this. Navigate back into the client directory and I'm going to say npm start or npm run start. And what we'll see is that um, this will open up a, uh, a new browser for me at the localhost 8080. And it has this like little phaser jumping around thing um, logo uh, letting me know that the template is working. So this is just working on the localhost. Um, it's the um, in the client directory. And if we just take a quick look at the client directory, we'll see that the um, it includes Webpack, which is what does all the bundling for us. Um, in the uh, package JSON, uh, we see that, the, well, when we said npm run start, that actually executes a command that uh, runs Webpack for us and opens the browser and all that stuff. And you can check out all the other stuff. Right now there's just one dependency, which is phaser. Um, the index.html, it's not gonna be anything exciting here because we haven't built the, the game. And in the source folder, uh, the index.js file is the main entry point for um, our application here. And uh, it just has, um, you know, not much going on in here, just the, uh, the basic boilerplate to add the uh, phaser configuration and uh, the logo that it uses for the, to make it uh, jump around on screen. And, you know, that's about it. So um, now that we've got this working, let's just take a quick break there and return in the next video to add a server and um, some other stuff uh, um, as we start building our card game.
I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please be sure to like it and subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on Twitter. And I'd love for you to check out my books and games at nightpathpub.com. And we'll see you soon. Thank you.